Good morning, all, and a very happy new year uh, to all of you. Um, hopefully, um, 2023 will be a much, much better year for us than uh, the previous one. Uh, previous one, you know, we have to undergo a lot of uh, tumultuous times, you know. Um, hopefully, this year will be a lot better. Uh, that's why, you know, our new uh, title for this year, New Year, New Hope. Okay, let's take a peek outside Malaysia, namely uh, the US. And Over in the US, I think needless to say, I think volatility will continue to dominate uh, Wall Street. Um, so long um, there are concerns over the uh, pace of the interest rate hike by the Federal Reserves and also, you know, again, the recessionary, recessionary uh, fears by uh, the economists. I think um, the US economy is at a crossroad at the moment. Hence, you can see that sentiments are still rather fragile um, and cautious. All right. Um, I think the Federal Reserve has tried their best okay, to manifest a soft landing scenario for the uh, US uh, economy. But it is always easier said than done. I mean, you don't just press a button and then everything will, you know, land uh, softly, as, you know. But I think um, they will be unsuccessful uh, because uh, it's not easy to uh, to put a cushion, you know, when the um, um, a market is uh, dropping sharply, all right? Um and also, you know, the signs are already there. I think you, you can see that uh, a lot of uh, large corporations in the US, they are uh, commencing on uh, massive layoffs. All right. I think uh, recently you can see that Amazon, you know, is, is talking about laying off about 17,000 of their staff, right? Then uh, Meta came in about 11,000, you know, and some of the bank as well, they are going to uh, uh, undergoing some layoffs to you know, to, to uh, improve on their efficiencies, namely like Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley. You know, this is just a, a few that uh, I've uh, chosen. I think there are a lot more, you know, so um, already, you know, this is a precursor of what to expect from uh, the US market, right? And also, uh, having said that, you can see that, which I will show in you in, 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 in the latest slide that, the valuations of on Wall Street is uh, narrowing, as expected, because of the uh, current uh, ongoing tapering by uh, the Federal Reserve, right? Okay, um, this is a very interesting uh, slide. Okay, uh, as I mentioned just now, you can see that uh, all the three major indices on Wall Street, uh, namely Dow Jones Industrial Average, Nasdaq, and the S&P 500. Okay, I think why I've put the uh, different time zone is that. Uh, I track the uh, quantitative easing period. All right, you can see that 2019 to 2023, that is uh, during the QE, and then uh, 2020 is also start of the uh, QE4. Right, um, before that, there's no QE, especially uh, that's the end of the QE3, 2014 to 2019. As you can see, that the uh, valuations for uh, on Wall Street has been uh, on uh, ascension. Uh, you know, you see that you know from uh, 2014 to 2019 about 17.7 times to the high of 24.4 uh, times for Dow Jones in the 2020. That is due to the uh, uh, excess liquidity in the market. Then, all right. Same goes with the Nasdaq and and also S&P 500. 